I'm Molly, I'm 11 years old. And my name's Meg, and I'm Molly's mum. I won't say how old I am. <laughs> I could say I'm 21. <laughs> Would they believe me? <laughs> no. Cerebral palsy is a non-progressive lifelong condition which leads to a physical disability. It affects the way we use and move our muscles. Cerebral palsy is the most common childhood disability. The diagnosis rates are around one to two every thousand births. Cerebral palsy in itself is actually quite big and quite complicated and it's a very individual disability. The old saying is once you've met one person with cerebral palsy, you've met one person with cerebral palsy. So two years ago we started on the CAPTURE research with funding from the Starship Foundation and we had identified at that stage that we were late in diagnosing cerebral palsy. So what we wanted to do in the study was to understand why that was. We can't cure cerebral palsy, but we can certainly manage it better if we intervene earlier. What we found was that clinicians were sometimes wary of giving the diagnosis, wanting to be absolutely certain, but families often knew that something was not right and felt sometimes shut out of the process of making the diagnosis. There's a lot of time that people can just sit and worry and fret when their kids aren't meeting the milestones of their siblings or their cousins. Early intervention means a level of control and agency in the situation. The way that I found out that she had cerebral palsy was one day I got some mail in the post. It wasn't a letter to me, it was a letter from one health professional to another health professional. I mean, I remember feeling quite stunned. Why did I have to find out like that? And that's why I put my hand up to take part in that research. The CP Education Day Zoom was a one-day webinar to educate professionals around the country about the diagnosis of cerebral palsy and really how to improve the communication of the diagnosis. Really good to listen to that research and to hear the advances that have been made. I see that research as being life-changing. I guess my hope for the future is that all children receive the diagnosis early and as soon as the diagnosis is suspected, that diagnosis is given to the families. With Molly, she's super resilient and determined and because a lot of it's invisible, I feel like there's a little invisible cape there. You're like a superhero. It's really my privilege to look after Molly and young people like her with cerebral palsy and I'm really passionate about improving their outcomes. So I'd very much like to thank Starship supporters for the funding you've given us to do this study and to take this work out into the community.